News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants. Right now, we're working to find out more about a man who walked into a Harlingen McDonald's last night bleeding. He had reportedly been shot. Police say he wasn't shot at the restaurant, though, so now they're trying to figure out where it happened and why. He was taken to the hospital, and we're told he is expected to be okay. Safer roads are coming to Harlingen. City commissioners voted Wednesday to add speed bumps to four streets. The speed bumps will be added on Tucker's 3rd Street, Marshall Avenue, and South Tam Lane. Officials tell us that residents have been asking for them to make their neighborhoods safer. The project is costing around $3,000 per street. And take a look at this. Thanks to you, so far we've raised nearly $8,000 for our Tim's Coats campaign. And we still have more than a week to keep driving that number up. If you'd like to donate, just scan that QR code. It'll take you straight to our donations page. You can also get to that page by going to our website. That's krgv.com. And we're in for another warm and windy day across the valley. We'll reach the mid-80s under sunny skies. That's your News in 60. Have a great Thursday. News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants.